Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. We are here going. Doing some some settings there real quick. How y'all doing? Good? Hope so. If not, um, well, let's try and change that, yeah? Okay. Single play. We're gonna do we're that what we're gonna try and do today is do some building. Maybe we'll do a little exploring at the end, but we'll try and do two days where or three days where we're just building. Well, we'll be grinding. We'll also be building. Uh, let's put it all into I should do two stamina one attack. Customize this guy, this guy. Sure. Well, that's good. And which stash do we do this time? Oh, done. We've all seen this already. But basically... Actually, it's a new day. Let's actually let's watch it again. Let's not skip through this. For those who haven't seen it yet, here's the intro. So the premise of this game is you are shipwrecked on a cursed island where monsters come up at night and you can't leave because there's a kraken that stops anything from leaving the island. So you're basically stuck in this place in an attempt to survive. I turned off all like tips and hints and stuff like that too, so or is it let's just cruise through this because it's you know Oops. It's just beginning of game stuff. Picking up the fairy, click this fairy follows you around. How you doing, fairy? Okay, let's loot the entire beach. What we need are... Um, we need to keep an eye out for jars. Like that, one jar. Uh, we need actually to pick up stuff off of the ground so we can make some tools. Okay, inventory. Need a stone hatchet, so one more rock, bunch of fiber. get fiber from oh there's small ones now i saw that they added a patch today and it looks like they added a few more things which is nice so there's a bunch of fiber let's make ourselves a hatchet Ooh, it only gives us one stone So yesterday you could just, it gave you 10 stones. Here, I'll, I'll show you in a second, after we grab this wood. So you could get a bunch of, you got like 10 of those, these stones, and then plugged them in here to like ward off getting attacked at night for one night. 
not enough. So, we can't do that. We have to fight tonight, so that's okay. We already have something in mind for uh, protection. That means we gotta be fast. Because nighttime comes real, real fast in this game. I also saw in patch notes that the one of our gripes yesterday was that we didn't get enough um, coconuts. And yesterday they actually fixed that. So apparently, coconuts will drop more often. But it's still not as often as we'd like. So I think there's an alcove on the right side of the, the starting beach here, and I think that's where we'll make our stand tonight. Did I miss a feather? A feather. Okay, now we got two coconuts. Coconuts. Ah, ah, ah. That is nice. Having that increased coconut rate is, uh, yeah. Because yesterday it was just. It was tough trying to, like, play the game because you were so starved, right? You spent so much time just trying to find food, you couldn't actually go out and explore. It's like. Yeah, game. Needs a little rebalance there. Okay, two jars. That's good. Oh, let's make a pickaxe. Let's make the mallet too now. Um, why not? Um, what else do we need? A spear. We need cloth for that. And to make cloth, we weave some fiber. Ooh, it goes into inventory now. How nice is that? Oh, no, sorry, this is personal. It's not the workbench. That's right. Um, I'm thinking something else. Craft us a spear. Distribute your level or skill points. So it's funny, you have skill points here, although they're attribute points. And then skill points here. Although they are, I don't know, trait points. And then skill points here, although they're fairy points. So, yeah. You know, skill points. Anyway, let's move this to... I want it to be crafting. I really do. Because of the durability, but... We have to get the healing factor first. This just allows some passive regeneration, uh, which is going to be very helpful. Are you hitting? Face it, please, thanks. Okay, next. Cold life, please. It's a survival crafting game, so like you got to pick everything up. Uh, we need that crab over there. Although, do we need the crab? Because we've got enough. Got enough food. Well, it's not enough food. Sorry. It's a decent amount of food. Clam? What's that? It's a clam. Okay, let's attack it from the sea so that it runs towards the shore. Oh, yep, there. Ok, 
give me that. Give me that meat. Okay, we need food, but we've got that dried meat in our inventory there. Um, let's get some berries because with this with this amount of berries, we can make two bandages. As long as we've got all the other stuff, like so, palm leaves. We need berries, palm leaves, and the yellow flowers to make bandages. And we'll be needing that. Well, hopefully we won't be needing it. No crabs. Go that way. Nope. Nope. Another clam here. Two clams. Ooh, I'm excited. We can probably cook these in the cooking pot. Or maybe we can eat them raw, you never know. That'd be a bad idea though. Let's let's look what it says. You can use this item in the hot bar. Yeah. Plus five hit points, plus two hunger. It's a fresh clam. I'll bet. Ooh, and there's mushrooms right here too. They oh. definitely added some stuff. Let's go through this for a third jar. It's in yeah, oil. And fourth jar, good. So we'll be making our defensive point in here. We may as well make our base here for now. I think the first thing we need is a bed. Once we've got a bed, then we can save, and then we'll kind of make that... Oh wait, we need... We need four cloths. So... Two, three, four. Alright, let's make the beds. Bed. And the bench. Do we do the campfire? I think we do the campfire. Ready by time. Oop, let's save this. And we'll call this Do Not oop, Do Not Overwrite. The reason being is the game has a three days and three nights limit so far. At least it was yesterday. I don't know if it's changed today. And once you pass that, the game it's game over no matter what. So we can do a save point from this point and then just try and two different gameplay from this safe point. So, you know, the first couple of games we do, we'll be doing building. The next couple of games maybe we'll do, I don't know, exploring. Um, okay, let's make a... Sorry, not make, let's put this down. Uh, what do we need first? We need... We could make a bunch of spiked walls now, but let's not. Let's hang back on that. Um, bows. Two cloth. And that should be all we need. Oh, do we need the bow? I don't know. Let's also make a cooking pot. We need stone, of course. Let's put 
this here. So we have more stone. What is this? Oh, coins. <laughs> Why is it just hanging out there? Uh, what were we doing? Right, the cooking pot. Cooking pot. It's gonna take a while. Let's make... Actually, before we make the mushrooms, let's... We're running out of water. We should actually go deal with that now. Yeah, let's deal with that now. We'll come back for that. Ooh, it's a little bit more lush. Yesterday it was, there was like a clear path, which was interesting. Oh, we need that. But, not right now. Is this Alco still? Uh, yep, still nothing. Although it's got a rock now. Now, patch notes said that. Oh, oh, jeez. Patch notes said that the fresh water holes have worse. Oh no, he ran. Come here, dude. <sighs> Tired. Swing. Ow. That was bullshit. Oh, there's two of them. Are you kidding? Oh, I'm gonna die. In fact, there's two socks. Nope. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm out of stamina. The fact that the first one got his health back. You know what? Let's try that again. <laughs> um, it's usually just one boar, and I was surprised by getting a second boar. Shouldn't have charged that that guy at all. That was dumb. But okay. Lesson learned. Oh, we gotta do that again. Shit. Shit, sir. Oops, wait. We already made the... We made it, but didn't set it down. Alright, that's right. We need rocks. Okay, so let's try this again. This time let's, uh... Start the cooking pot. I like that they did change it almost overnight. I mean, they did change it last night. So, not almost, they did. So it's kind of nice that they did that. Uh, makes it so it's not fully predictable. But, um, yeah. 
I don't think they would change things like that, such as adding another boar. Having two boars right there at the beginning is prohibitive. Um, let's add two arrows. Sorry, 20 arrows. It makes stacks of 10. Ooh, level. Oops, wait. Did we? No, we didn't. We didn't actually make the cooking pot. See, the thing is, the reason why that's a problem is because there are where the fresh water is. Like, if we're if we're down to like two thirsts, right? That's that's a huge problem. Come on, why is this so slow? I realize we could just drink the, um, yeah, we'll, we'll overwrite the do not overwrite. We'll make our start point from here. It's still relatively early at noon. That's right. Coins? Nope. Coins. Didn't we open this already? Guess not. I keep trying to hit tab too. That's really frustrating. Okay, we have one, 1. 1.4 thirst. Nerf the uh, spear. Used to be able to do. Uh... Ooh, meat! Actually, drop meat. Used to be able to do a uh, three jab, and it stunned enemies. So, uh, why they took that away, I don't know. Oh, so don't forget to pick up your arrows. We okay, should have one here. Okay. All right, there's one more boar here. Can hear him to the right. Or is he to the left? Can't tell. Is he gonna regen health? That's gonna be annoying. Oh, there's more than two? There's three of them? Oh my... No, game? No. You can't guard your water sources like that. So there's one here, and this at the beginning of every day. One at this side, and one at this side. So that's... no good. I'm losing health just Okay, finally did a three. Just cause alright, we're I think we're forced to use the code here. That's annoying. That's both annoying and dumb. Like you devs, do not guard the freaking water source like this, especially for P 
people who aren't like used to this kind of game. Nine, huh? Ow, hey. Dude, I asked for a roll. At least it's giving us meat this time. That's kind of nice. And it kind of sucks that we used up our health bandages, but cannot be helped. We need our water. So you'll notice that we're filling water here with polluted water. You could drink this, but it will hurt you. And if you're down to like 14 health, like like I am right now, you will probably die because the, the polluted water will poison you. So don't drink. Make sure that... It's not saying drink water, it says fill container. Okay, since we just killed that boar, oh man, it's gonna suck because tomorrow morning, those three boar are gonna be back there. Let's, um, let's go through all this while well, we can. coconut just so we don't die. See, having that regen is so helpful. It means that when we're... Ooh, mango. Two mangoes, really? Thank you. At least the devs did that where they upped. Where to fall? <laughs> oh, come on. Maybe mangoes didn't fall at all. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, that was a butterfly. Okay, maybe there were no mangoes at all. It's fine, it's fine. There's a the banana. Two bananas. Let's look at our inventory. Three bananas. Nice. I'm liking the, uh, the more food drops. That's um, very nice. This is so much better. Yesterday, it was like, it was so hard to get any food. It's like, if you want us to explore your game, give us the means with which to explore. Like, and that is abundant food. Like, look at this. All this greenery, there would be abundant food in here. Now, I'm not saying that every tree should drop, uh, like, fruits and stuff. Maybe like 30% at best? Like 25 to 30% is perfect. Um, or like roughly every four, fourth tree will drop you something that will sustain you. I think that's a pretty good one for this length of demo. Okay, let's collect everything up. Where are we at? Uh, almost three o'clock. Dude, face, face tree. We're going to need that. Did I kill? Oh, it was the third one. Yeah, 
And where was the other? Oh no. What do you mean? I hate that the tab is that. Okay, fine. How this one dropped two coconuts. That's very, very handy. I do like that they don't allow you to uh, protect yourself at night. So, like before, like I was saying, you get like ten stones to pop in that altar over there to like protect you for one night. Um. But subsequent nights after that, you, you couldn't. Like, the cords would still come after you. The problem was, you could save and reload your game and get those 10 stones again. So you could just continue to, like, not get harassed at night. Obviously, that's a little off balance, but, um... Let's save, let's put it to... The builder... Stuff. Now it's just night number one, so we don't have to worry about it too, too much, but let's get started on this now. We're probably going to want like eight. Yeah, probably eight of these. We could do ten. Let's do ten. As your, th oh, come on. Uh, Fucking thirst. Okay, and they should all so like you pop in your polluted water in here, and they come back as purified water. Now, unfortunately, you can't right-click it and drink from here. Like you see, like. You can fuel the campfire with it, you can throw it away, you can break it, or you can cancel. The only way to eat and drink is from your hot bar, which is a questionable choice, but uh, there's nothing we can do about that. Okay, anyways, let's take these out. So, one of the things that bugs me is that if we were to just cook this, this crab meat. Alright, so let's look at this this marinade crab. We get health percent recovery, we get hit points, and we get hunger plus four. The problem with this is... This here. If we just cook the crab, we get plus 20 hit points and plus five hunger. Adding a mango should add to the baseline. You know what I mean? Instead, we get plus of it. Like, how? What? That makes no sense to me. It should be at least additive to some degree. Like, well, the mango by itself doesn't do anything. Like, uncooked, it's plus five hit points, plus two hunger, plus one thirst. If anything, it should add plus thirst, and yeah. As of right now, there's a waste. So instead, we'll do this and make some food chain. Oh, we need, we need to start a fire. Oh, we don't have space for it. Put in slot nine. This is why I was trying not to... Trying not to eat all of our coconuts because I wanted to make fruit jam. See this? For some reason, this bugs out sometimes. 
Come on, <laughs> weird. See this? <sighs> this game does is even with abundant amounts of food, it does its best to kill you, which is fine. It's good, but like tone it down a little bit, you know. Either give us more food in the beginning, like more more hunger from cooked food. Although the drops are nice, the drops are nice. Like having the increased drops are very nice. Uh, let's add that. But it's like all that food we just got is all pretty much gone already. Ah, okay, let's cook these. Let's also cook the black beetle because that's a healing potion. Oops. That's medicine. Well, it's not a healing potion, it's a re it's a regen potion. So it's not bad to have. Let's look at the clams, too. Actually, something we haven't been checking to see if this mixes with anything. Doesn't mix with that. Doesn't mix with that. Sad. See, they should... The game needs to allow us to do that. Like, it is... Like, protein plus, you know... Vegetable or fruit needs to create something other than. Cook. Yeah. Oh, needs this. And be careful, like, don't leave your stack of fuel in there. It will burn it until it's all gone. Now, yesterday you could also put water in there. To create things like this, but I don't know if it works. I suppose we can try, right? Let's try. Don't destroy. Last time we couldn't pick it up. <gasps> yes! Holy shit, yes! What can we do with crabs? Nope. Bananas? Oh, we can make banana juice. Um. Yeah, yesterday it was broken. And I was upset because we would lose the water. See? Like, I, it just... It disappeared here. Like, if you take the jar back before you take the food, it goes away. <sighs> and it bugs out because you can't... Like, you can't put stuff in now. Lurg. Uh, builder stuff. Yep, save the game on builder stuff. Load the game builder stuff. That's the only way to mitigate this this bug, unfortunately. Is to reload the game. So, well, that's not the only way to mitigate the bug. The best way to mitigate it is to either take the jar before the food is done or take the food immediately. Okay, this, this. Wait, does that make? Real clam, plus 15 health, plus 3 hunger. That's pretty good. What's the clam chowder do? Oh, dude, look at that. That's nice. That is nice. Okay, this time let's try and get this. Good. And then get the jar. Very, very, very nice. Very nice. Let's try it with the meat. Oh, we should have done this. The mushrooms with the meat. Uh, cook. When it does that, uh, take your ingredients back and then put it back in and it should start like that. Okay, so mitigate it. Grab the thing. Get that. This should make surf and turf. Gotta be honest. Raw meat plus raw crab meat. Surf and turf. With some banana. Ooh, marinated steak. 
What is that better than cook steak? Yes. Not as much hunger, or not as much HP, but it's got health regen and more hunger. Right on. Let's move. Okay, it's five. Let's get water. We need water. We need wood. Oh, don't tell me the boars are back. If they are, we're kind of screwed. Because we reloaded, so maybe they might be back. Good, good, good. Oh, really? The heck you talking about? That's. Did I lose a bottle? <sighs> it's a dumb game. Like, there's spaces in the hot bar. But, alright, whatever. This is the problem with these kinds of games. Ooh, cool, we didn't fully lose it. Uh, is that five? Good. I wonder if butterflies actually do anything now. Because yesterday they did they did squat. Same with fishing. I tried fishing yesterday and uh, yeah. It was not only difficult to actually do. No, not difficult. It was in an unintuitive to do. But like the fish themselves, you couldn't eat them. Which made the entire thing pointless. Okay, 1750. I think we need to start building our defenses and then we just wake the night out. Let's grab as much stuff as we can for now, though. Don't use the cooking pot for your water. Always use the regular campfire. Wood? Wood. For some reason, at least for me, it just vanishes. <laughs> it doesn't work. So the reason being is because it uses water to create soup and drinks, and it doesn't create purified water by itself. We need a chest to put all this crap in. Uh, do, 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 do. Oops, what am I looking at? Looking at this. We need planks. Oh. Like, where's our wood? Damn it. stressing out because it's almost time to fight and we're not really super ready yet. There's nowhere for me to put it. Uh, banana go here. Banana go back. Okay, 
go there, there, that, this, this. Oh, we can make a thing. That. Oh, fuck you all. Like, give me a break. Okay. Hopefully we have enough. Yeah, we should have enough. No, we're good. We're good. Okay, this should be plenty enough for us. That should keep anything out, hopefully. And if anything like, like spawns in inside here, I will call bullshit. Alright. Um, we need you to make us an, an Indian X, which I'm, I don't like that that naming at all, but. We'll just have to deal with it for now. Uh, let's make some bandages. Let's actually eat this mango. Okay, 7 p.m. Now, the problem with this is that you can't really do much defending, like you yourself, unless you're using ranged. Uh, reason being is if you swing, you're going to hit your own defenses. Uh, what's control, left click is split. And it's just, you hold control and then drag it out. They're coming towards us. Now you want your mallet because you want, if you, if you start getting to this point, you want to be able to start uh, repairing. Why are you heading towards there? I don't like that at all. Also, they changed it so that your uh, fairy can go fight for you. But... Well, I guess let's try it. Hitting F1. Oh, that, I guess if they're only melee, I see. Why are they go up, going up against the wall? I don't understand. They come towards you, but tonight maybe they want to pass around you. I think that's probably what's happening. They want to pass around you, but can't. But you'd think they'd be hitting. I think they'd be turning into this. Let's have a, some food and some drinks. Watch the show happen. Oh, right. Yeah, she got a level, didn't we? Oh, we got a few. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, got through. that these are constantly repaired. You can see their status at the bottom and middle, just above your hot bar. When you mouse over them, it'll tell you. Those two are pretty. That guy's just hanging out. Wait, how much is that repair? Is that even repairing? Oh, I need sticks, which I don't have. Because I need more sticks. Yeah, fuck off. There should be another wave. Not having enough sticks worries me a lot. Because we can't we can't repair it, so I think we just start doing this before they get through. of an arrow. Oh, come on. It did damage to my own. Come on, just a few more minutes. That was a little tense. So, to get it out of your way, just do right click with the, the mallet out and then hold down. And the good thing is, like, we can uh, pick up all the stuff that we got, all our loots, and we can combine them in order to. I think it's five for one, and that will help us. It will help create a thing, um, a bigger stone. I'll show you in a second. So here in the workbench, we go to this. Uh, Cause through the stone, you can craft large pieces out of the small pieces. Yeah, five. Five for one, so let's make three. Let's put that away, because we don't really need them. Um, you're going to need so much more. So unfortunately I was planning to make like a like an actual defensible base, but if they're gonna keep attacking, if we can't like if we can't ward them off early, 
and there's you won't be able to really do a lot of building. Because all of our farming will be spent on up upkeeping the uh, defenses. Um, that's not true. We can we can try. It's like. Will we have enough food? Is the question. Alright, let's get these crabs. Because I want to make more, um. More chowder. I should have invested in uh, a lot more stamina. Let's grab that. There's another crab over there to the right. We'll grab him in a second. Now the question is, did the boars come back? If the boars came back, then we have a water problem. Yo, hit hit the crab. Oh, come on. Jeez, that was a lot harder than it needs to be. Okay. Okay, level up. Let's just... Stamina. Okay, we have four skill points. Let's put it into two, three. Accurate blueprint. Oh, not available. No! Didn't read it. I should have read it. Oh well. Oh, fuck it. Yesterday it didn't say not available yet. So I thought it was working, although it wasn't showing up. Like it wasn't. The durability wasn't changing. So I should have known. Okay, please blow her back, I swear. Okay, good. Phil. I wonder if we can get some rabbits too. Now one thing we could do is build a new uh build a new base further in. Um there's a spot here which is actually very defensible. Probably more defensible than uh, where we are now. Nope, no fault. Give us some coins, please. What is this? Repair? Advanced repair kit. Oh, we're full of. We're chock full of junk. Okay, fine. We'll get that later. We'll just put that torch in our uh, tool belt. Alright, let's go back to camp and put this stuff away because kind of just hoarding a bunch of stuff. Oh, we don't have room. 
Oh wait, no, we don't. We're good. We're good. Let's try and cook uh, that meat with that mushroom. Because yesterday, I just couldn't find a, a use for the mushrooms. I wonder if there's a way to get up there. I mean, technically our place is already kind of defensible, but not fully. It's open, and once they breach through, it's it's pretty much game over. So we could do our thing from yesterday and try and build a uh, thing, uh, like a spot out here, perhaps? We'll see. Uh, first things first. Okay. So, meat. Mushy. <gasps> you can make stuff. Mushroom steak. Plus 50 hit points. Plus 600. Nice. Nice. And mushroom by itself is... Oh, dude. That's so good. Let's add a coconut. Let's add... Let's add a butterfly. Nope. Yeah, butterflies are still useless right now. Lame. Sand, seeds, we can do that later, bones, oh. okay, cook the shit, yo, that's so nice to see, oh my god, it was so, <sighs> it's so, so nice to be able to find meat and cook meat, alright, so we got plenty of food now, we should be okay. Well, plenty, sort of. We don't want marinade crab. We want... Oh, wait, that's this. Right. Clam chowder. Cook this, please. Anything else? Build bananas? Or marinated crab? I think we do marinated crab. Okay, we got we got a nice chunk of food. Thank you, devs, for changing this the food drops because oh Yesterday it was like, give some fucking food, y'all. The fuck? Um, do this, this. It's basically crab plus any fruit makes marinated crab. And clam plus water equals this clam chowder. Okay, let's get more water. Uh,. Me? Oh, already got three. I wish you could take salt water. But that's still one now. Okay, let's see if... Let's put this here start eating these. Hopefully those boars don't come back. Okay, if the rabbits are back...
Like, I understand from the developer's perspective that water needs to be guarded. So it's not so it's not so easy to get water. But it shouldn't be three boars right at the beginning of the game. That's kind of harsh. Especially if you're going to take away a uh, stagger. Because yesterday the spear was great because every strike would cause a stagger. Really? be nice if they dropped meat. Alright, screw it. Let's get this. Any more clams? Not sure why the dude is looking down. But, okay. Clam. I think, yeah, the best food's gonna be a clam chowder. As long as you can secure the water. Because, man, I keep hitting tab. Because it gives hunger and thirst, and gives you recovery. So yeah, that's that's really good. That's incredible food game. Thank you, devs, for doing that. Thank you. That is much needed. Now we need to get wood. We need to go into wood and stone harvesting spree. We should actually start over here. See, the problem with three days and three nights is that you can either like go go like exploring and then get caught out and get killed out there because we have no defenses, or we can spend our time building. But because of the upkeep of food. It's just not, it's not so easy. Thankfully, Clam Shouter is in, because that helps out a lot. And another, um, another nice feature that they should add is, hey crab. Spawned right in front of us. Another nice feature that they should add is in other survival games, if you hold down E and like move your mouse over stuff, it will just pick it up. Here you have to hit it every single time. So like for example, if I held it down and just moused over this, it would pick both those up. But as it is, we have to tap. He tapped. I know it's not a big deal, but it's just a quality of life thing that other other survival games have, and it's always good to kind of follow the trends, otherwise people will get turned off. It also gets kind of annoying to like continue tapping all the time. Like you're probably hearing it over the microphone. It's like the tapping. The tapping needs to stop.
Okay, I think once we get... Where are we at? 51 wood? Oh my god, it's gonna take a while. We should put this point into... Worker. Oh well. Same with this, like, I need to be able to, like, hold down that last key. You can do it with the, uh, the rocks, like when you're mining rocks, but not with wood. It's why, why is that a design choice? Like, the hard part should be the survival aspect. Like, the, the gathering should be smooth. question is do we build out here or do we build in that spot that I think is very defensible the reason I ask is because we're going to be using a lot more resources to build an out, uh, something out here in the on the beach whereas we won't be using quite as much indoors why is it still burning do I have been wasting been wasting food or wood damn it anything here we can cook We could do more chowder, but I think we just need water for right now. Let's uh, let's store this food. Oops. The uncooked food. We can have that too. Do we need anything? We got nine cloth. I think we. We can try and make armor. We try and make a bag. Or you know what, instead of this, let's make six of these. So, six, 12, 18, 18 planks. Oh my god, it's a lot. Let's chop down all these trees. But let's start dipping into the clam chowder. Basically, basically, building in a more defensive spot, kind of like there, means we use less materials. And it kind of focuses the defense in one direction. Uh, the problem is, do we have enough time to do it? Because if they've added ores to all the freshwater spots, then that place will probably be guarded by boars.
Okay, here's what we do. Let's save it. Let's scout. Builder stuff. Yeah, let's save and scout. Uh, let's plop this down here and eat the last one. Let's also put that there. What was that sound? Yep, thought that boy came back. See what kind of bullshit? Fuck you, dude. Uh, let's eat one of these and get some extra regen going. And fill up health. Oh, fuck. Here, boar. Are you stuck in something? No! God, this is such a waste of time. Where's the other? I can hear it. Oh, it's right there. Fuck you, boy. Oh, no. No meat. Yeah, again. Waste of time. Oh, we should have just gone over that. No, do not drink this water. So this is what I'm talking about, this right here, because it means there's only one, well, these two spaces, the people, enemies can come in through here or from down here, possibly. I've never actually done this, so let's try it out. And there's a fresh water spot. So this could be like an OP base location, especially if these, if this would, and this uh, like stone pile regenerates. It's not a lot per day, but it's better than nothing. So let's let's do it. Let's make a bed first. Bed, crafting bench, campfire. Oh, you know what? Instead of doing that. We can't be doing that. We need to make... We can't put this down yet. Shit. I, 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 did, I did a dumb. I did a dumb. We need to make a building plan first. Because we need, we need to set down uh, foundations. So, when you have it in your hot bar, you right click in order to switch building foundation types. So let's do... So here's the leaf one, the wood one. Let's do stone ones. And we'll do... 
We'll do two by twos. See, the problem is if I build over this, we can't get to that resource. So, we'll do it this way. Ah, oh, we can't build over it anyways. Yeah, we can't build over there no matter what. So this is a bit of a problem because I was kind of hoping we could build here. But it looks like we can do this. So we can at least wall it off. Oh, yeah. Done. We can probably lift this stuff up. Or probably these two aren't necessary. So you could probably just build this outer section. But I think it's probably better safer than sorrier. We could kind of build here. But that part is a no-go. It's weird that it, it can allow us to put one down here, but not attached to a foundation. And over... what? This is weird. I don't understand. That's okay. Let's not roll on that too much. Um, let's put our bed down. Uh, okay, base. Now the problem with this is that it can only go on ground, so it cannot be on foundation. Which is okay, but if you're fighting frontline style, then we, you kind of want this near you. Now uh, let's put that yeah, down here. We also want our workbench. Put that... Everything's kind of like janky, but whatever. We're, we're kind of like feeling it out for now. Uh, what we want to do is make ground spike traps. We don't have enough wood for that. Shit. We do have a bunch of planks back at the main base. That means we have to travel all the way back because we forgot it. Ah, okay. Let's also bring our food. Let's collect this stuff. Fresh water, well, polluted water. as well get more rocks over here. Or stone, I should say. Not rocks. Rocks is wrong. Are we not? Oh, yeah, we're not. Now I suppose it's possible to like start your day over there. Because um, it seems like, you know, we wasted a bit of time just doing this. Like doing this base for day one, so yeah, probably. Do we need anything else? Bombs would be nice. Is that all we need? No, we need 
are planks. That's really what we're here for. The planks. Okay, it's... We're gonna have to end. We're gonna end up uh, using all the rest of our time to do this. More fiber couldn't help hurt. Definitely wasted time doing the trip back. Cause yeah, securing that that location early is good. Probably from day one. You just have to fight through a bunch of boars. And yeah, there's, like, there's a shortcut, sort of. Not really a shortcut, but if you fight through... You could technically run past the boars. Um, and come here. And then make this right. You just have to be careful because there's thorns. Okay, let's make some traps. Trapity trap traps. Uh, how many do we want? We got four at least. Let's do six because we got plenty, right? We got the planks to do it and let's just do it. Let's also make a chip chest. <laughs> Need to take two of these back. Oh, it's gonna take a while. Now, how are we going to secure ourselves? Probably... So we'll put traps down here. I don't know how long they'll last. And then we'll put walls down here. What we'll try and do is put the wooden spike traps along this side of the wall. And then we'll lay the, the walls down last. But we gotta wait for these. They take forever. Should have made the chest first. Ah. The problem is, do we have enough stuff? I think we need to chop more trees down. Instead of sitting there watching it. Oh, really? Okay. Can't chop the trees down. Nice. Instead of sitting there watching it tick down, let's let's be proactive and pick up more things, shall we? Now be careful because just because it's daytime it feels kind of uh, peaceful doesn't mean it's not peaceful. There's actually not just the boars, but there's actually like things out like undead out there. Oh, I can't pick up the banana. No, no I want the banana. What can we drop? I can't drop anything. That sucks.
Oh, the problem is we can't really make this stuff here because we don't have a cooking pot. The only thing we can use is the campfire. Wait, I thought we asked for six of these. Oh, we had to cancel two, that's right. Okay. So we put some here. Okay, we cannot put that there. We can't put it in foundation either. That's kind of interesting. I suppose we can just layer up in the front here. Well, that it will probably mean that they'll just walk over it. So let's save these. They're kind of expansive. Um, make a bunch. Six. There you go. Have that. Okay, that'll be a while. Uh, how much wood do we have? 40. How much wood do we need? For walls. Uh, we have enough, I suppose. We should do f window frames. Yeah, so we can at least shoot through them. Um... We can also put stone fences out front. What's the time? 4.35. Alright, we got a bit of breathing room. Although, let's get some more wood. walking around out there. What could it be? Probably a rabbit. There's also some collectibles here, like glass. We don't really need it right now, so we'll just forgo it. Oh dear, oh there's a giant boar there. Oh my god. Let's back away, because I don't want to mess with that at all. At all. Oops. There's also apparently like merchants and like NPCs out here, but I haven't seen any. Because I've been too busy... I don't know, enjoying the building part of this game. Okay, don't fall on spikes. Good job. Good job, sir. You are... not a terrible... mover... person... thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, we're going to seal ourselves in, basically. Um, oh, you can't put it here. You can't put it... This is a problem. We could put it here. So what we can do is... We're going to have to tear this down, unfortunately. That'll, that makes us very insecure. I was hoping that this would... 
Ah, damn it. I don't know why you can't put traps on foundation. Like, hello, this is mine. I'd like to put it there. Oh wait, no, I need this. What a waste. Or you know what? I wonder if I should have left that there, made the wall, and then funneled them through. <gasps> we can still do that. So, assuming that they don't just crash into everything. This water is now a hazard. Put this over here. No. That's a shame. That would have been perfect right here. But then we wall this off. Okay, I think it's time to eat. No, we need chowder. So this is a bad location, now, now that we're doing this, because we're not able to actually do what we need to do and this is more open than it needs to be. Like all of our defenses should have been focused out here, but because of these weird build rules, we can't. The only thing we can do is like pull this back and then put these, like put spikes behind them. Put these, these spikes behind these spikes. Like, but we'd have to destroy these and then wall off this. Yeah, this is not a good spot. I thought it was. It's not. So unfortunate, but here we are. Nothing we can do about it. I suppose we could reload. But I think instead of reloading, let's see how this goes and see how this defense goes. It might be doable, but we'll just reload. After, this, after that, and see what else is going to be viable, right? Okay, let's make some walls. Let's make... Stone frames. See, the problem is this, like just completely open. That's not, that's not doable at all. So even though we have, actually even the windows won't matter because they're going to be down here and we can't see them. So the only way to really do this is to, we wasted that. I should have just set one down and see how it looked. But probably the better way is to put fences. And it's possible that they could climb up over this. So... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. If they start climbing over this, then we're kind of screwed. We'll have to do a melee defense. But, um... Yeah. Not being able to put traps on your own foundation is... Create big bunches of bullshit. Just want to say. Okay, uh, let's put... We're gonna need that water. I should put that in slot 7. 
and put our medicine in slot eight. Sorry, just reorganizing everything, just so it's easier to get to uh, in the fight if, if we, if we have to do that. Um, again, we don't have a lot of wood, do we? And there's nothing we can do here, really. Like, once night falls, we just have to sit here and wait for them to, to show up. We could stand here and plink at them with our bow once they pass through that little passageway, but that's about it. This would have been a great spot for a little base. I mean, it might still be a good spot for like a regular base, but not a defense base. So like I was saying uh, yesterday, is that you should have two different locations, just like in Seven Days to Die. One place where you fight at night, another place where you live during the day, or where you like, gather your stuff and like build up and like do all that crafty stuff. Um, Let's actually use the pine cones for for fuel. We can also use. I just realized you have so much fiber. All right, just gonna make some so that we can have uh, clothing. If you find yourself walking suddenly, it's because you hit the control button. And just hitting it again will get you... Sprinting? It's not sprinting. Just moving faster again. Where is our enemies? Are they like breaking rocks out there? Sounds like they're breaking rocks up there. Yeah, I don't think they can get through that. So good. 
keep that there. Yeah, fall into the trap, jerk. Oh, they are all just hanging out. Hey, bud. Hey, no wall. I did. Yes, fall into the trap and die. Waha. <laughs> That's breaking hard. Okay, so if, if to make this more effective, we should probably build it one step back. Because right now they're just getting stuck up on there. And really, this place isn't a great base now that, now that we're looking at it in practice. Because they're just hung up there. They're not getting experience, they're, they're just stuck. Alright, that was unexciting. Let's load the game. Let's load the game. Back to builder stuff. Wait, did we... Did we set a base down there already? I don't think so. I think we just ran back. No, we just hadn't started anything. Good, 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 good. Yeah, we're still here. So instead, let's try... Oh, hi. Instead of that... What? Those mushrooms have a ton of fireflies? Is that for you? Pollution heal. Okay. What are these for? It's a glowing bug. Thanks. Okay, um... Where are we at with resources? We need a lot. We need a lot. Let's put as much stuff away as we can. Stuff we don't need for right now. That, that. Uh, the leather could help. We don't need that right now. Uh, clay, flint for these guys, that guy. And the bombs. Okay, let's go farm. Oh my, it's already one o'clock. Sucks. And we need to kill those boars still. Did we like. Did we. 
Of these berries, get these, make some bandages. Take these and make uh, six. One, five, six. Let's try the uh, beach defense that I was talking about the other day, or yesterday. Sorry. Okay, we need food. Let's polish this one off. Let's actually put another one down. Uh, this one's great, although we don't need that much. Too fat. I'm probably going to run across boars soon. But we need to kill them because we need that water. Fine, fine. Uh, pick it up. Okay, there should be one more out here. Hey, bud. Jerk butt. Give me your delicious meat. Oh, let's drink one more now. Let's fill up and then fill the waters. Nope. What? We should have a lot more bottles than that. Unless we're already. Okay, we already had some fresh water. Wonderful. What is that sound? Why do you have combat sounds? Oh, you know what? There's a boar over there. On that side. A waste of time. Get up. I don't got time for you, boy. We got other things. We got other fish to fry. And all that does is waste our time. God. It's a waste. Face, face for him. Where my cursor is pointing, that's where I want you to be swinging. Uh, 
How much wood do we have? Not a lot. What else can we chop? Can we chop this? Oh, that was a that was a rabbit. Okay. Okay, two, two fifteen. We got one tree out here. Two trees. So let's chop these two down. Three, four trees. All right. Let's see how much we can get. Do have skills? Nope, because I wasted <laughs> Saved after I wasted it. Anything else? Nope. No, please. Swing around poison. Coco nut. Okay, let's put the food away real quick, because we don't quite need it. Uh, clam, this. Okay, there's a decent amount of stuff. Let's start the build. Oh, wait, we need a... Uh, we need building plans first. Uh, where was that? This. Let's build it out here where it's nice and flat. Maybe we should build it, instead of in a dip, we should probably build it on top. So like over here. Or we could build here again. And then do it defensively like this. But it's kind of a large area. Now let's not second guess ourselves. Let's just do it one. Let's do one here. Uh, should be plenty enough space. And to destroy stuff like this that's in your way, right? why did that like mouse over it and just do that? It's a shame that it doesn't give you scrap stuff, but oh well. Okay, can't destroy that. Okay, uh, wood, no stone, triangles. Let's go. Here. Uh, do we do stone floors or do we do wood floors? Because wood floors will probably be more cheaper. Well, no, we got plenty of stone, not a lot of wood. So let's do stone floors. Back to triangles. Okay, this should be the base of our fighting area. I realize now we need a lot more traps. We're actually going to need uh, twice as many traps. 
Let's just do the regular ones instead of the um, the flat ones. Because those are nice, but... I don't know, they're very expensive too. Hmm. I suppose we can try both. How much do we have? Six. How much? We need another 18. Expensive. Then we can do the rest of these with these. We need more wood. We could break these down for a little bit of wood. Let's just max it out. However much we can make. And then... We still need more wood. <laughs> we still need so much more. Because... We have, we've only put down the... Um, the foundations, but we still need to make walls. Um, let's try and chop those trees down over there. Slam these down. Did we go through this before? No. Not that we need to, but oh, hi, stone. I keep accidentally clicking off the game itself. Okay, let's see if we can chop these. No, where I'm facing, please. Hey, these trees don't exist. Um, damn. It would be really nice if we could like break these things down and get like wooden stuff from them. Oops. We're not going to make it. Shit. We need this. Uh, we need to do... One by one stone walls. Do we have enough for this? So I don't think we do. 14 wood. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, it's 4 o'clock. I'm actually really stressed because we don't have enough materials. Where wasn't there a tree right here? No, there wasn't. Okay, 
Okay, now we have power. Let's try and get as much wood as we can. God, let me hold it down. Like, chop wood, please. Six. I don't think that's enough. See, the problem with the uh, the round base like that is that it has it uses so much materials to make it defensible on all sides. It's a shame that those palm trees don't have a lot. Okay, we can, this is like the last tree that we gotta go. Banana? Wait, let's go. Oop, wrong way. Ah. Stuck on the terrain. Need more stamina. Need more water. Okay, five o'clock. Now the other problem here is we're going to be like freezing because there's there's no there's no fire like we can't put a campfire on like it makes no sense but okay uh two by two triangle and i won't snap are you joking oh it's because uh foundation we need ceiling ceiling two by two stone triangle ceiling and you don't want, so if you're going to build this, you want to snap to these center ones and don't snap to the outer ones. Because if you snap to the outers, if these are destroyed, your ceiling falls. So we want to do that. And this. There. Um, if you want extra protection, you can put fences up here. Uh, but for now, let's put our traps down, or some of our traps. I should put it on this side. We're cutting it so close. 5.30, let's go, let's go. So nervous. So nervous. Not enough stamina. Come on, come on. Dude, those still aren't finished building, are you joking? Come on, stamina. You're building way too far away. Sixty-four. 
6 p.m. What are you doing? Why are you so slow, dude? Why are you so slow? feeling tense. Okay, we got one spare, but that's okay. Let's save that for now. Probably not going to use it. Uh, so this, since we have a little bit of time, we'll do fences. Uh, we'll do two by two stone fences. Oh, we don't have... We do bring our flint shit. We only have three shit shit. Uh, do we have time? Cutting is super close. And do we have enough arrows? 45. Okay, let's go. thing we don't have here is light we won't be able to see shit and we're going to be blind and we're going to be cold and that's going to be a problem uh let's eat a chowder crap Okay, we got a half hour to what do we do? We could make a torch. Maybe? Do we have time for that? Sleep forever, come on. <sighs> this is harsh. <laughs> Ten minutes. Uh, come on. Why? Why does this take 60 seconds to make? It's a fucking standing torch. I think that was stupid.
Haha. <laughs> Y'all suckers. Oh, no, this guy got uh, got flung over here, but alright. That works for me. See, it annoys me that they come from a specific angle. Because it means certain ones get worn down. So a circular defense like this is impressive. And it uses a lot of resources. Oh, hi. But it also is open. Or, I mean, it's not just resource intensive, but it means that certain ones will get affected more. will get destroyed fast and then they'll be an overwhelm us because they're not concentrated. So probably the better ways to concentrate our defenses. Oh, At least while we're up here. Ow. No one asked you to be here. Yeah, this is not a good Is only the first way. I think it might have been better if we did just these. Yeah, it's probably better if we just did the the regular ones instead of the spiked ones, because they because they allow them to step over, and so that's a weakness. Um, yep, we're about to get wave two. <laughs> I don't like how it pushes them to the side. Oh my god. I keep tabbing out of the, the game by accident. It's like when I mouse down, it opens up my uh, Windows bar. Fuck off, dude. Did they break you? No. Away, sirs, we are closed. We do not sell uh, any more uh, undead juice.
damage. Oh, we won! Yay! But that was not a very good base. Like, it's a very fancy base, and it's... Ooh, they got into the middle. And another reason why you should put these so that, again, so that your base doesn't collapse the moment one wall falls out. So that wasn't bad, but... Again, we need to focus them into a specific way, so let's... I don't know why I'm picking that stuff up. Let's look at the damage real quick, and then we'll reload the game. Yeah, so... The lessons we can take here... The lessons we can take here is that we need to have multiple steps into the base. Uh, it would be nice to have like a fighting... a combat floor above. Like we've been doing, just like swinging down. These probably aren't necessary because every time we swing, we also hit the fence. And so we are causing our own damage. But I guess it's better than not having it? I don't know. Okay, so for the third one, for the third try, let's... Actually, give me one sec. <laughs> I'm alt tabbing out and just keeps rolling forward because alt is the uh, dodge button. Give me one sec, I'll be right back. Gonna take a quick bio break. Okay, yeah, so this time I think we keep this little alcove, we put down, let's see, we probably put down foundation across here, and then, how do we do this? How do we do this? Because ultimately, if we just... If we try and protect just this small area, then we'll... That would be better off. Although, if they're gonna only going to come from one direction... How do we play this? To me, this feels wide, right? This is a lot of space. If we... Where's this? This? So let's put some... Let's put some down, just for now. Just to look. Um... Five. 
Now, how could we turn this into something similar like that? So we could do a five out here. Okay, here, let's try this. Let's do uh, some triangle floors like this. And then we have traps all along the outside here. And then we have a raised elevated area here. So for example, let's do... Except these will need to be walls. So they can't just walk in, right? So it'll be like... No, this is all wrong. This is all wrong. It should probably be... Okay, let's do something real quick. Let's load game. I mean, we were going to load game no matter what. But I think what we do is we... We create a quick framework with with grass stuff, and then reload again. Like once we have a good design down. Like unfortunately, this game is like again, it's like time locked. Like once you hit day three, night three, you're you're done. So as much as I would prefer to have the time to like figure this out, we just we just don't do it. We can't do it in one save and just kind of roll with it. Like it would be nice to like try night after night different bases, but we, we just can't. So this is all this is what we gotta do. Okay, so let's do leaf floors. Let's do it like this. Let's embed it into the wall. Right. And then, and then let's do a circle. good now we can do we can do this All right good this is good this is a pretty decent design um, because what we can do here is then we can put a leaf wall here and leaf wall there and all of this can be fighting fighting area. But we can put a leaf wall here too. We can like shrink it down a bit. So then we do one by one walls here. And two by two leaf ceilings, which we can snap to anything we want. Let's do that here. So this is our fighting area. And actually we can like leave. We don't have to do this part because there's no point for us to, well, actually no, let's leave this here because if we need to jump up, then we can jump up from there. It's just the heat is going to be a problem. And then we can have traps all the way around here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we can double up. So we'll do these wooden spikes. And then the the floor spikes outside of that. So they'll run into the spikes and just like start taking damage instantly. Yeah, I like this, this design. I think we should go for it. Um, we can actually even embed that one even further so that we can, so this is more centered to the opening of the cave.
I think there's a way to upgrade, right? Air. Upgrade to... Can we upgrade that further? But see, it needs so much more wood this way. Oh, fireflies. Let's actually try this. Instead of reloading, let's just do this. Let's see how viable this is as opposed to just building straight out. straight stone um, right off the bat. And the back, the back can stay like this because once they get, if they get past this, then we are, we're screwed anyway. So oh, let's upgrade these floors to at least to wood. No, because if they hit this, then it might be bad times. So we want to make all those front floors stone too, if we haven't already. Oh, we can't do it anymore because it's behind this. Ooh, it's okay. I suppose we could break this down and get to them, but oh well, too late. Too late! Um, yeah, okay. So let's make... How many do we need? Six? Five? Let's do six. Let's make six of these first. Five of those first. <laughs> We need um, sustenance. Let's actually have one of our um, clam chowders, noms. Then a marinated crab. Okay, let's get the chopping. Crab. Guess he's stuck. Probably shouldn't have used the axe for that, but um. Oh well. Dude, auto face the thing, please. Thanks. Cabo. Cabo. Um, those boar would be back. Yeah, distribute them skills. We have a skill here. Yes, we do. Let's grab worker. Let's do two points of attack.
Here, boy. Ow, fucker. Ow, dude. Why? Why did he hesitate so much? Um, let's back up a bit. Back up a more. Uh, let's put the clam chowder here. Actually, no, not the clam chowder. Let's put the um, this marinated crab for the um, region. Extra region. Carbud. Oh shit, there's two of them. Ah, oh, fuck you. It just sounds like there's two of them. Oh, there are two of them. God, messing with this is crap. Dude, what? Okay, dude, fuck you. Let's just fuck you in the face. They usually sit there and, uh, like, charge, charge. Like, they sit there and do that before they charged, but that one had no time to charge. He just did it. Some bullshit. Whatever. Let's just... Oh, wait. I want, I want wood. The reason why I did this is because I want wood. See, like, they did that second. The other guy apparently didn't care about rules. He was like, nope, I'm gonna charge you whenever the fuck I want. Yo. You mean full? Oh, it's full of garbage. Of course. Fuck, what a waste of time. everything. <laughs> Just make a room. Um, oh, of course, these weren't stacked. Because, yep, why would it? We need so much more stuff. Okay. 
Okay, sure. That's the best room to do. Let's make a gap for us to like jump through. Um, ooh, we can kind of like squeeze it in there. Please, thanks. Okay, um... We're also gonna need some fences, more stone. We should not think about this. We should do the Indian pickaxe. Or where's the other stone nodes? I wonder if they're mineable right now. Okay, it's 408. I think this is relatively strong. Come on, we should have done this. Freaking pickaxe first, so stupid. I'm sitting here waiting. Waiting. Uh, it's also we've got a bunch of these, so let's make some clothes. So. How much do we need? Sixteen. 16 total. We have nine. So. Kind of missed one. Uh, one, two, three, four. How does it think we only have four straw and we have all this straw or all this fiber? Ooh, mummy mask is a bandage with a whiplash on its face. We could get that too. Eight armor, three energy, two hit points, one heat resist. Well, this is objectively better. Okay, let's destroy these. Break. Ooh, they give cloth. Yesterday they were giving a uh, little not cloth. <laughs> The, uh, they were giving these things, the small Kluga stones, stone pieces, that's right. Okay, let's get more arrows. Let's put the ground spikes only in front of these, like like layer it out here as opposed to unless unless they run all the way back over here in which case that's going to be really fucking annoying um seven let's put i don't know why it keeps tabbing out that's so frustrating uh leaf no not leaf fence we need stone fence Wait, can we make one? Really? Uh, what? I 
Ow. Oh, Flint. That's right. Nope, not you. And that should help us not get destroyed. Um, you know what else we can do? We can put fences here just to make it harder. Like, to, to dissuade them from going this way. Um, same with this end. That way it'll kind of like, hopefully it will mean they will come this way. And even if they do get to this point, they have to break through the fence first. Um, sure. Let's give it a shot. Let's actually put these down. We're only at five, so we we have time to do some other stuff, like farm. What we need, what we need is a bit more stone. I mean, we also need more wood. Okay, 5.30. Uh, let's see, where can we get stone from? Here we go, this, this regen. Those ones over there, or that one over there. Let's grab that. 5.30, we're, we're doing okay on time. some water. We need berries for our bandages. Stone, please. Okay, I think we're good. Don't actually need that, but uh, force ahead. Let's move. We got an hour to kill, kinda. Should we make? Give my arrow back. Okay, put that away. Don't clay. We're probably good on flint now, but let's keep it in our inventory just in case. Um, that can go away.
What else we can do is we can make a... Oh no, a backpack takes like 15. Well, you know, we got plenty of fiber. So let's do that. Uh, three... Make a straw hat. Why not? Wait, only 12. What? Okay, is there anything else we need here? Um, let's make a couple more of these. Actually, no, I want... Well, yeah, let's do... Yeah, extra one. I, this isn't enough stone for me. I feel like we need more, but nothing we can do about that. Oh shit, it's already almost... Almost time. Ow. Stupid. Let's put it over here too. In case they decide they want to stand over here. So hard. Oh, it's too much space. Let's put one as far up as we can. Another one over here. Our body is freezing. I can't see shit. Holy crap. Where's. Oh god. Oh, and they're all coming over here. Okay. Let's put this here and this. Ooh, it gives two slots now. Nice. Good job, devs. Off my traps. <laughs> so we need to put one more trap out there somewhere. If we even can. Like somewhere like here if we can. Like once the uh dude, get off.
I like how I get flung out of like, the room. Why? Why? Let's have another smacker room. Swap that out with the marinade crab. Really? Ugh. Ha. Who was Saber? What? Here. I'm gone. Ha. Yeah, this, this is a little more secure. I like this. I figured they would have, uh, and like gone around here like last time. I guess they're just piling up here. Which you kind of notice that they're kind of trying to squeeze through here. I wonder if that's a viable thing. If we put two just close enough that you can kind of get through but not but get stabbed anyways. Hmm. See because now once we actually do day three, because this is fairly successful, I think this design's much improved than the previous two. But it's a lot less uh, resources. We're able to spend more on traps. Yeah, I like this. Destroy. What's that tapping sound? Let's destroy this one too. So we have a way for us to get in. Okay, guess we didn't get that before. Let's uh, destroy this one too. Because I think what I want to do is just break the shit down. Ooh, a beat. I can break that. That's a container? Really? Okay. 
I just want to open that up a bit. Uh, so we can just lay out more, uh, more defenses. Oh. I wish I could select that, but I can't. Let's put this guy for our torches. Put this guy back. Nope. Okay. That's apparently indestructible. That's annoying. Right on. That was very successful in my, in my opinion. That was very successful because they didn't even bother to try and go around here, which makes all of this kind of wasted. But that's okay. Um, what we do now is make a few more of these, lay them out over here, so that as they walk, they just run right over it. Um, it's unfortunate that their stuff is in the way. We could lay stuff out here too, so that this path is. You know, so that it's, it's so it does damage. I wish I could. It would be nice to be able to pick these up, knowing that they're kind of useless out here. Okay, let's get wood. Those boars are back. I swear. Oh, you know what? Let's save. Because this was successful enough that, uh, that we don't have to like go back to redo any designs. Builder stuff. So this is... Beginning of the third day. Get up, please, thanks. Oh, almost ran into our own spike traps. Um, let's have another... Let's have the last clan chowder. Let's put this marinated crab here and the water. I just like the fact that the rabbits don't drop meat. They're rabbits. They have meat. <laughs> Alright, we need to stop chopping down palm. And we need to chop down... Or not palm, um, bamboo. Because bamboo just doesn't have enough wood. It has more palm than wood. But Sashvi also go up here and grab those repair kits. Let's... How do we use these? We just drag it on there. Uh, okay, we just drag it on there. Righto. Wait, where'd our sword go? Oh, there's Swad. Nice. Very nice. Uh, we need some stone. Nope, no stone there. Oh, we need wood. Wood and stone. Actually, more wood than stone. Do we 
you get the banana? What's oh, over here? How much wood do we have? 69. Nice. Nice. If you're gonna let me uh, climb up, then don't drop me down, right? Okay, I think the problem here now is going to be when we go back to our camp, we're going to have boars in the way. We could run, we could just run our asses off to save time. We have a level? We do. Let's do... Stamina. Skill tree, skill... Let's put that into... Oh, that's a, that's a deer. Hi deer, please don't attack me. Oh, that's a boar. Hi boar. Bye boar. Just not trying to mess with those right now. Um... Oh yeah, it's go clear. Up. Oh, jeez. Such a pain. Oh right, this place has uh, a kit of this stuff. Nope. I forgot, but they're in these barrels. Get up. Please help. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. So here's a nice little area that we found yesterday, which could be a decent place to build like a a homey like tower kind of base. But I'm right now I'm here for the wood. Having a nighttime defense base up here would be good because they wouldn't be able to get to you. Like as we saw in like the little like alcove base, they they just got hung up on something. The problem with that though is then you don't get experience because they just die with the sunlight. Uh, this wood's gonna fall down the cliff, I'm sure. Yep. tent over there and another tent further down that way it's not not fantastic 
those areas. I mean, they got some loot, but it's not great loot. Okay, where did that, that wood fall? Should have been like down there. Where's the rest of you? Hmm. I think we lost that wood. Oh well. Okay, we need stone. Where can we get stone? Um, let's see if the uh the stone stuff on the beach has come back. Stone stuff. The stone nodes. Let's see if the stone nodes have regenerated. Looks like a couple of them have. So let's go from the far side. Let's go around. Uh, that one's not. So let's start with this one. Let's also look for plans. I think we already have six of them, so we are okay in that regard. But it's better to have more than none at all. Oh, we should have gotten water. Wow, that was a lot of clams. You know what would be... Crab. Crab, fuck off my... Oh wait, my ears. Hold on, I need to switch. I gotta switch out the earbuds. Because it's running out of batteries. Mm, there we go. It's a little better. Okay. Crab. What are you doing, crab? Can you, like... Foolish crab. It's also a drink of water. You know what we need to do? We need to turn down this music. Just a little bit. That way we can hear the actual world a little better. I think the one boar guarding the uh, water here is good, but three boars is too much. Like, there should be like some water sources where there are a lot of boars, like that big pool over there. Like maybe there should be one boar at each shoreline, but it's like having three here in the middle or at the start is no, no good, too much. Because it just sucks up so much time. 
you know. Dealing with these three is a chore, basically. Especially since they re regen every day. Oop. Okay, let's go back. Let's make ourselves some food. This is a kind of nice find. Here, crab. Oof, that's nice. That's a nice attack speed. Oop, oh, we want those too. Ooh, that stone over there regen. That's done. Okay, let's make a few planks. This one regen too, so may as well grab it. Okie doke. Okie dokie. That's one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oops, did not mean to get everything. I just wanted this. Uh, put, put, um, Sand we don't need. We can try stuff with beets that the Cthulhu stone. We can keep the jerky. Ooh, we got a spare pot. Nice. Don't need that. Bones can go away. That can go away. That that that. Don't need seeds. Oil. Play. Okay, we're good. Oh man, butterflies. Um, let's make another workbench or another storage. We need four planks. Of course we do. Of course we do. Let's actually bring the repair kits with us. Put that away there, along with the pine cones, because we don't need those. Um, okay, let's do six of these. Let's do like a whole lot of these. Sure, we'll just like scatter them everywhere. Everywhere we can, it's a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait. Where'd all our wood go? Did we? Oh, because we used it up here. The. This is so good. Do we more clam? We got a clam? No! We need more clams. Oh, let's... This, this... Crab salad. Ooh, we need beets. How do we get beets? This should totally... Like, mushrooms goes with everything. Everything. Alright, let's make 
the marinated crab. Oh, we have so many more clams. Okay, um, and my inventory is a massive mess, uh, let's put these here, these guys there, let's put food stuffs closer to the bottom, okay, good, okay, we need more water, okay, let's put this, I keep forgetting that jerky dehydrates you. Now let's eat the mango. Probably gonna have to deal with um four. Give me seven polluted waters, please. Hello, rabbit. Give me that charcoal. Wait, no, we don't need that. We need this. We should have gotten wood while we were out there. Damn it. So we got plenty of food, so we shouldn't. We're not struggling no more, or no more food. We could also be eating aloe. It's got some healing properties on top of it, but um. Oh well. All right. So annoying.
Oh, actually we're good. Now we need to, oops. Let's put this down here. Let's have some water water. Let's get more. The other one's going to be spawning in at any minute now. Let's try and get this water fast. That stone node came back. That's okay. What we need now is wood. Uh, are you a, are you a tree? No. Are you a tree? Oh, oh that's right. There's a stone node here. Again, we don't need that. We need wood. It's funny how the game, it regenerates everything except trees. Why? That's a weird design choice. I'm not sure what the purpose is. Because like now we're kind of water shy. Or water shy, we're wood. Shy. There's plenty of stone. Uh, what we, what's gonna put away with this? Oh, we can't. We need four planks. Yeah, we definitely need a lot of wood. Please. You can have this, 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 that. Let's put these guys down now, so we have to worry about them later. Since they love to come streaming through here, let's make their lives a lot more difficult, yeah? Wait, this thing doesn't... Oh yeah, it does. It does exist. You can kind of click through it. Oh, it's annoying. Okay, let's put this... Oh, we can't put that down because this is our... 
is our way in. Um, how about this? Can we put this here? Nope. Yes. Let's put that there. Uh, two left. I say we save the last two for... Actually, let's put the one here. And that should give us space for um, one of these, right? Like facing this way, kind of. No? It's because of this stupid thing. Like I can't get rid of it. So there's one that fits right here. Then we can pull one maybe out here. Then we can just lie in this area like this. I like how these rocks prevent you from putting uh, this. It's kind of um, dumb. That's okay. Okay, let's go get some wood. Protect me, fairy. Four? Here, boy. Where's the last one? Up there. There he is. Why did this tree come back, but no other trees? What? Or maybe we didn't... Yeah, it must have just relo relo reloaded and didn't get that tree. Okay. Weird shit, yo. But I accept. I accept that that's the way it is. Um, I think the bamboo trees are all we've got left, really. C330. Yo, hit the tree. Thanks. Yeah, those have like all of four wood to them. Ooh, there's a there's a decent tree right there. This one could give us eight, at least, well, six. Can we, can you get up? I wonder if this is a doable fighting area. Like, if you're stuck at night with nothing, like, and you're, like, up here, like, just meleeing things like, ah, get off me! Oop, 
don't even care about the palm at this point. I have so much of it. Do we want this? Guess better to have it, not need it. That one came back. Well, the, the stone node. I kind of want to go do explore it that way. Like, seeing that makes me want to check it out. And now that we do have a lot of cash we could in essence we could reload like after this night we could go reload this game we've got plenty of food and then turn in 10 to prevent any night attacks and then just go explore or we could just do that tomorrow like there's no there's no need to push us to explore now especially since we're just testing out this build and really kind of Looking at how the enemy moves around your traps. We got plenty of stuff, so we'll just like lay it out everywhere. Um, we're out of these, right? Now we got one left. Cool. Let's eat some chowder. Nice. We got meat. Let's quick some. Make some food. Do you have any more mushies? Yep, we got a bunch of mushies. How much wood do we have? 40. <laughs> After all that, we got 40 food. Or wood. Sorry. Yeah, I think this might be too much food. Also, instead of using wood, we can start using pine cones for fuel at night. Uh, that's probably going to be better. Let's bring them all out. We should dump them in there and not care what happens to them. Uh, why do we have a f butterfly? Hi. Also got water that we need to. Oh wait, no. Nope. Never mind. I thought it needs. Oh yeah, yeah. It's right here. Right here. Uh, have one of these. Oh, it lasts a lot longer now. Good. Okay, 5 p.m., what do we do? Got a little bit of time. Oops. Can we climb up above this? Nope. See, so yeah, this isn't a bad defensive floor. If only we could put traps down there. 
Like, I feel like this part's unnecessary because we can't put traps there. If we could, that'd be so much better. Because once they once they destroy this layer, they they come up onto a layer that we have controlled. Ooh. We need to upgrade this. Same with that one. Collect. Oh, fairy dust. Or fireflies. Upgrade. I wonder if this is a detriment to us rather than a. Uh, is that, like I saw like people were standing up and they I wonder if they're standing on this thing. So let's destroy this. Can we put one of these here? Kinda, sorta. If it's like this, a little bit chank. Okay, I'm good with that. Can we put one over here? Yeah, I'm good with that too. I think we're pretty much set. Um, let's go look at the berries and see if there are any, because we can use those. Cool. Let's actually have some food too. Uh, mushroom steak? Mushroom steak, or... Crab salad? No, let's do the mushroom steak. The fact that they're instant hit points too is really nice. Okay, let's make some badges. need repair. Alright, let's start doing this. Um, here? I want to do that thing where they're trying to squeeze through. Should be good, right? Of course, they might not, might, might not try to squeeze through now because it's blocked off. Um, no, stuff won't fit. All we can do is this one. Alright, that's alright. I think we got, we got plenty, right? But we'll keep some of this. Like, for when they break that down. Because they will break that down. And, um... Or they'll break a bunch of those down. Let's grab a repair kit. Ooh, we class. Cross. Okay, don't need that. Got plenty of that. 
That can go away. Actually, can we make a... Can we make a... No. Because we need a better workshop or workbench. Okay. That goes there. Do we have other feathers? We do. So let's put them in there instead. Let me put this. I should know where for it to go. Now let's keep it, just in case there's like a something breaks. Like if that one breaks, we can like slap this down. All right, eight. Nope, not eight. Sorry, we need some... chowder. Well, we could eat this. And just drink water right afterwards. Then swap it out with the um, chowder. Cool. Almost ready. Almost seven. All right, give me a second. I'm going to take a quick bio break again. Um, be right back. Be right back. Okay, we are back. We are back. We're pretty much ready for the end here. This is the last fight before the game demo ends. Unless if it doesn't end, then cool. But yes. Okay, let's get some fire going. Okay, monsters, we're ready for ya. And this sword thing is cool. What's the stats on this? Wood damage, mining damage. Damage is plus one. What's the spear? Plus five. Oh, this thing is whole much better. Dude, 
spear. Spear all the way. Big clubs plus six, but it's just it's just so slow. Attack range plus 260, 250. Yeah. Yeah, the spear is best. The night is coming after you. What do you mean freezing? There's fire right there. Haha, <laughs> they're running into the traps. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Let's turn this on. So we got extra fire. Hey, get off my trap. Those guys running, that was that was a great decision to put traps down that way. Now they get, they get smacked. Yo, dude. Just soaking up the XPs. Grab stuff out here. Ooh, we do. Uh. Doesn't really matter. Ooh, let's use that. Oh no, something broke. What broke? Probably a trap over there. I think we're pretty good. We are pretty good. Ah yes. Just watching that XP roll in. It's so satisfying. This is quite delicious. All right, wave two. Bring it. Bring it, foos. Oh, fairy's still in like fight mode. God, come on. Bring it, monsters. They clearly like this avenue. I wish you could swap um, shoulders. Oh no. That is. 
Like, I know it's a loot bag, but I want to know what's inside the loot bag. Fling yourselves upon my defenses. And despair. Quick pull one way out there. Nope. Let's um you know, let's have a snack. Let's just enjoy the few minutes we have left. Uh, the demo version ends here. Man, we did so well. That was actually really, really good. Um, that was a pretty damn good design, if I don't say so myself. That's good. Let's go back in there and just look at it. Like, we'll just look at the design of the base. Let's see if there's ways for us to improve it. Like, obviously the design is they crash into our traps, and yeah. But this section is actually pretty impressive. Oh, we didn't get the sword this time. No, it was okay. It's not like we used it, and the sword's not as good. Uh, three. Repair. So I like the fighting floor here, but the fact is, if they if they are coming over and like crashing into the uh, the traps, then honestly, we don't need to be this far back, right? We can actually have our fighting floor right at the very edge here. So like we could put ourselves up here, so. Let's say we have a fallback. That's exactly what this is going to be. This is a fallback. So... Let's destroy this. And we're not going to... Let's not do the fight, but let's... Let's build it out, right? Um, how much stone and wood do we have? Oh, we don't have any. <laughs> uh, let's repair... We don't have any repair kits? We didn't pick up any repair kits. Okay. Alright, let's try and get some stone and wood. Let's eat this. Ah, oh, yes. Back to gathering. Space, we got plenty of space. Uh, water, what's our water bottle situation? Where's our water?
Huh. Where are all our jars? This must be some kind of bug. That's really frustrating. Because now we're down to two. But that's okay. We're not actually going to play. We just want to... We just want to like build this out just to... Just as, as a thought experiment. So let's go get some water because we need water now suddenly. And food. All our food is gone. Ah, oh, game. These aren't good bugs at all. Horse. Okay. Well, at least we're getting some some jars again. Yeah, I'm going to assume that this game is going to be in alpha once it releases on the 22nd of... Wait, 22nd? No. It releases sometime quarter one of 2024. What I kind of wish is that they had a creative mode. Because that would be real nice. Like we could just build something and see how it works. What's our wood situation now? Seventy and seventy wood, seventy seven stone. Just looking around. Uh, let's look over here. Oh, there's a boar here somewhere. Yeah, he's over there. Look at that big ass boar with the red eyes. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, let's look through here. Oh, nope. That's done. Let's grab the uh, repair kits from up here. Now this could also be a fighting position, just keep in mind that they will spawn up here and come down towards you and spawn over there and come up towards you. So you could technically fight in a platform like this, but you still have to, to give yourself a lot of defenses on the outside. Thank you. 
Okay, we need water. Honestly, game, honestly, fuck you for destroying our food. That's really shitty. Should be enough. Let's go. Load up by picking stuff up off the beach. Now the problem with this right now is that this is the only weak part of the wall. Well, and this part too. So if we want to shore things up, we should put... We should extend this this path out. But for now, let's just... Again, just a thought experiment. Um, no, we don't want that. We want this. Eight of those. Let's make and so just to show you guys like how that that um that thing works, the altar. You just take a bunch of stones. So right now we have like 20... Where are they? Oh, right here. 14, we got 14 of them. And then we hold this down until the flame turns blue. And it's safe and it takes 10 of these. And so now we won't get invaded tonight. Which is nice because if like your base gets utterly wrecked during the night, then you can go, oh, okay, at least like if you survive it, you can at least collect all that crap and then turn in the 10, have a safe night, and then just kind of spend two days rebuilding up everything. Okay, uh, let's put this away. Let's actually repair the axe. Really kind of salty that they destroyed our uh, food. That's okay. Let's... What can we do? Let's not worry about it. Let's just, let's just make the extension. Extensions. Let's hope that we have enough. No. That's not what I need. I need this. And we're going to want one by one walls. Now, when we put these ceiling triangles down, we want it to... Okay, so these corners are going to need... They're going to need little walls on the edges so that we can capture... Or so we can stick to them. Oh, this one says square. 
So we need two squares. Okay, that, that's okay. So basically, we're going to need to do this here and this here. And probably this as well. Yeah. How much resources do we have? We have plenty. Plenty-ish. Um, okay, let's do... Ceiling triangles. Let's need that one. Oh, it's wood. Dumb. Well, from, from this point on, we'll do this. Come on, snap properly. Thanks. And then we'll need this one. Now, the others, the square ones, the square stone roofs, we can... Oops, not roofs. Uh, square stone ceilings. We should be able to snap to this instead of this. Because again, if you snap them to the outer wall and the outer wall gets destroyed, then the ceiling will also probably fall. So we want to snap to the inside. There we go. Now, let's do stone fences. Okay, and the point of this is so that you have fallback. Actually, let's, let's update this. So, you know, you're fighting, fighting, fighting. They, let's say that they destroy, they get, they break all this part, all the traps down here, down, and get to, say, this wall and break this. Then you can at least fall back. If not here, then back over here. Or let's say like two groups of them come up, come at you here and here, and they break down all the traps and all the walls, and you have these, this outer wall destroyed, then you can at least go back one and have a defensive portion, a uh, defensive area. And yeah, like I said, like we should probably extend this out so that it's double layered. You're basically making a castle wall. That's really all it is. Um, and all you're defending is like a bed <laughs> and a workbench. The problem with this is it's going to be harder to get in and out. right? So the only way to do that, because now it's too high for us, is we need to jump up here and Is this a wood floor? Yeah. I want that upgrade. A repair. No, that's an iron floor. It looks like a wood one for some reason. Okay, so in which case we're going to need... Let's do a triangle. Yeah, it's the only space we've got, so... So this will be your jump up. Ow. <laughs> Don't stab yourself. We could make this a little bit safer, too. So let's put... Uh... Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Stone. Nope, not one by one. Yeah, two by two. Can't, because there's that stabby stuff in the way. So this will have to go. But you know what? Maybe that's a good idea, because we could do... We can actually double layer it now. Uh, let's put this. Two by two stone. So all of these one by ones are more expensive. This is probably the better way to do it. 
So let's break this down. Didn't drop any stone? What's your problems? Nope, there it is. And nope. So what we could do here is do more one by ones. Ceiling, triangle ceilings. There. And actually, we can destroy this. Give that flint back. And then four stone fences. Oop. And then you could raise this part up if you want. Like you can just like, you know what I mean? Like you can make a, a whole, the whole wall here, like your. So you could literally have like a castle wall type deal. But again, that makes it so it's hard to actually jump up on here. So like, you'll have to find your own, like a, a different way to get in. So this might be a good way. But since, at least in the demo, they're coming in from this area into here, your jump up probably shouldn't be here. It should probably be on the other side here. So let's destroy this. To Ooh. This is going to be a shame destroying that. I feel bad because of the planks. So it should probably be here, right? Let's have the jump up be another triangle. Now the problem is, of course, that you have to destroy your traps every time you want to get in and out of your base. But that's okay. If you're like, you should be planning your days and nights properly in order to survive. Like you'd be planning yourself like days in advance in order to do this but yeah it should be okay too like because let's say do you have any traps on us no of course not because the game deleted stuff can you face where i want you to face thank you pretty much out of everything but let's make one of these and we, let's make one of those just so we have some frame of reference to to move around in let's also make these mushrooms so we don't starve to death <laughs> sorry I tried to cook the firefly there why are these cooking so slow? Okay, whatever. Or wait, are they already done? I think they're already done. Yeah. What are they? Like 2.2? Just two. Okay. Let's slug them all down. Oops. I actually need the traps. Yeah, this is still a pretty decent fallback point, although you could make it so it goes all the way. Like you could um And it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be like dang it. I mean you could close it off, I suppose, like with stuff like this. 
But I think I think this is okay. Because if they've gotten to this point, if they've gotten here, then yeah, it might be a losing fight, but still. Okay, let's try this out. Let's try to place this. I mean, even if you just do one, right? One big spiky boy. Like giving yourself enough room to like get it in and out. Just like to stand there and destroy and then rebuild. It wouldn't be bad. But you want this here. Give me that stone. You'll probably want something else in here, so like one of these. I mean, really, let's let's deconstruct this. Let's put one trap there. Oh, this is annoying. Can you... <laughs> Just won't do it. So maybe you do want to, because things can get in there, so yeah. Just in case something jumps into the base and then like somehow gets in there, probably a good idea to close it off. But it doesn't need to be anything complicated. We can just use the palm leaf walls just to kind of prevent things from just accidentally getting in there. Let's, uh, let's break these down. Actually, we can probably leave that one there. Let's see, do we want to do anything here? No, let's just put leaf walls. And maybe fences. Yeah, just to keep it nice and closed. That kind of makes this the weak point. But that's all right. I'd like if no one comes here, then great. But you should probably do the same thing and like, I don't know, make it so that it's. Yeah, let's think about this. Let's think about this. Where's the pieces? It must have like fallen on the other on the other side. Okay, it's fine now. Let's make a let's finish this up and make a triangle stone floor here. And then put a one by one stone wall here. Is that are these backwards? Like, you see how the textures are different? I think these are backwards. Unless this is just wood. In which case, um... Oh yeah, it's just wood. Cause I'm dumb. <laughs> Okay, 
that's fine. Um, so this is pretty decent. This is actually not a bad jump up. Let's actually keep this portion. Um, what we could do is like cut a notch in here or like, you know what I mean? Like put, first let's put a stone fence here. Is that a stone fence? Yeah. That looks weird, right? Um, then let's put... We could put one by one stone walls here and then just put the cap it off with a uh, thing. With a ceiling. Like so. And we could put one more wall here. Just to keep it nice and uh, nice and good. And then what we can do here is put fences there and there. So this can be our jump up so that it's set in so that our our jump up isn't jutting out. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? Yeah, that works pretty well. I like that. Now at this point you could remove these. I suppose like if you didn't need a fallback point, but I think it's a good idea to still have a fallback point. So like if something lands, like one of those flap, flappy flying things, like lands up here, you can, I guess, go back. Like if like four of them show up, then you can go back here and then just swing away and be somewhat protected by these fences. That's not a bad idea. So yeah, I would say keep these. Um... Now at this point, since our jump up is over here, we can finish off the defenses. And we probably need more of these. So something like that to just like close it off, like really put it in tight against. Ow, thanks. Tight against the wall there. I'm bleeding. Yes, eat that bandage. <laughs> we are out of water. And then yeah, like that's a not that's not a bad line of defense. We could also break these down and realign that. Let's do that. We could just use the, the hammer to rotate. I think it's better to just reset it. Yeah, like that. That way you have full coverage except for that little corner, which you can protect with, like, I don't know. You could use this maybe to protect it. And just do it like a running wah, onto the platform. Like that sketches me out. But if we do this, we should be okay, right? And then we could use these. Like as we did before, we can like line this little passageway. And you can also put these in front. Good little space. Like that. That way they're like double doubly powerful, right? I know you can fit. And this should be like your base layer and then just like add more add more traps like all the way around the, the base as much as you can hopefully they don't detect your uh, weak spot here and if they do then just add defenses here right during the night just just be sure just be prepared to like deconstruct them once you once the the fight's over and you have to you have to go out um yeah 
I feel it's pretty good. Let's try and get some water. Hopefully there will be boars. There will be boars. Oh wait. Let's quote unquote drink that aloe. <laughs> Up, boar. Oh no. Hey. Fuck you. Fuck you, boy boy. Like it tabbed me out again. Ah, it's so annoying. Oh no. Not trying to mess with the boars. Fuck off, boar. Fuck off. <laughs> we just want we just wanted some water. Those boars are like you can you can go away with your water. Grill up some bananas too, why not? And some meat. Oh yeah. And some clams. Like the food individually is just kind of a waste. Like it's always better to mix them up or make recipes. Well, you know, this is the end of the game, but we don't really care. We're just going to look at the uh, our, our handiwork here. Now, we could go... We could break these down. Like, I feel like, yeah, there's a, definitely a, an inside and outside. We need to be careful about that. I think it depends where we're... Or we're facing stuff, right? So let's see. I feel like these are outside, and the ones the one we just destroyed was the inside. So let's destroy nope, sorry, cancel three destruct. Oop, those are good. See, this is probably inside. So how do we, oops, uh, four, okay, so depending on where you point your mouse, see, like, if you, if you point it that way, then we're going to get the, the inside facing that way and the outside facing us. So instead do it this way, so it's pointed inward to the, the block that you want it to snap to. That's smart. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty good. Um, and probably what we want to do is like every night we want to. Oh, you know what? We could make this even. I was gonna say we could make it more. 
safer. More safer. That's proper English right there. But I don't know if it'll work. If we put a um a fence there, will it will it screw things up for us? Let's upgrade that. I like how you can upgrade from a distance. No. I feel like now maybe I'm I'm being weird. I feel like this is on the inside and this is in the outside. Oh shit. So there you go, destroying that one because it was because the ceiling was attached to this. Yeah. Let's try that again. Let's attach the ceiling. Or try to attach the ceiling to that. There we go. Do one by one stone wall and flip it that way. So we want we want to point it so the inside is on that side. There we go. Yeah. See now that is facing the right way. Nice. Nice, nice. I mean, that is assuming that the inside and the outside have different health. Let's actually test that. Ow, ow. <laughs> so that's a problem. Let's also put a fence down up there. We don't have... Oh, we don't have flint. Okay. That's fine. Okay, dude. So I don't, I don't know exactly how much damage we did, but it's like that tiny little bit there. Let's hit it from this side now. We didn't even hit that. I feel like we didn't hit it correctly. Destroy that. <laughs> Let's grab the stone. Let's actually put it over on this side so it's easier to hit. And let's hit it with the spear. Okay, I think that's the soft side. Let's hit it from the hard side can't tell. I think it's the same. So I guess inside and outside doesn't seem to matter. I, yeah, it's really hard to tell because of the how little that is. No, I don't want to destruct it. I want to repair it. Let's try it again. Yeah, I feel like it's about the same. So I guess it doesn't matter if it's inside or outside. But I guess, you know, aesthetically, if you want... If you want things to look uniform, then I guess it's a good practice whoa, to make sure that you're not... Uh, oof, alright, fine. Let's see if we have any... Um, nope, no flint. We can go there though. Oh, you know what? We just mine us some flint. There's one more on this, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I think this is a pretty good design. 
especially for the very beginning of the game, this should be more than enough to keep you safe for multiple nights, right? And even if they like take down, say, some section of this wall, you still got fallback points. And you could, if you want to be even more secure, is make all this stone. And in fact, you could actually make another, you could make this floor so you have two layers of it, right? You know what I mean? So like you can have uh, da, 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 da. right stone ceilings here. Oh, we are out of, we're out of materials. So unfortunately we can't do much more, but you get the idea. You can just make it an entire second line. It'll make it hard for you to get back up. I suppose you can like leave these two open. So it just does this. This layer. So you have a jump up and jump down on both sides. But yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good design. And like, we don't have to have like a building with defenses all around it because that's expensive. As we tested out over there with that that platform, it's just too much material going out in all directions, but not all sides being attacked. Hmm. The night is coming after you. No, it is not. Let's put some some of that down. Let's actually destroy this because we don't need it. Where'd you go, stone? Oh, there you go. There you are, stone. Yeah, we got two, two wood. Sweet. Uh, can we burn anything in here? Yes, yeah, so like if you do if you do that, then your knights are pretty safe. And so like you can just spend the more time exploring, which we're going to try and do tomorrow. Um although if we don't kill anything. We also have to get past that big ass boar. I don't know how to do that. I guess we'll figure it out tomorrow. But for today, I think I'm pretty much done. Uh, I want to like kind of end things up with a pretty nice, you know, nice note. We have a nice wall here to keep out the badges. And again, if this makes you nervous, then just plop down one of these right in front of that. Just so like if people come up there, then they just smash into those two traps first. Um, Otherwise, yeah, this is this is not not a bad first line of defense. If only we could clear that crap out. I mean, we could clear the crap out and put another ground trap. That would be good. Only problem is lack of wood, right? This is very wood intensive, wooden stone. So, although stone comes back, wood does not, as we've seen. So that's th that's what we have to be most careful of. Now you could also do a thing where, now that I'm looking at this, we could maybe build out this way and try and fight on this thing, because that that thing's invincible. If like if you're just totally out of luck, we could maybe do that. Like use some kind of. Um... Actually, let's try that. Let's try that. Um, let's. Let's load the game back to the beginning of this. We're going to be low on water again because, you know, game ate our food and our water. Jerk ass game. Yeah, let's try let's try building something. Let's 
be super quick. And we don't need anything complicated, we just need these. Uh, let's do... Oh, we can't get on top of that. Oh yeah, come on. Cool. Okay, now we need a ceiling. Uh, let's do a wall. Oh no. That's a little fiddly. Dude, climb up. Thanks. Oh no. Alright, let's do it like this. Um one by one leaf ceiling. Like that. And let's put a wall here. There we go. Let's make it easy for ourselves. We want to try and get over there. So let's do... Really? We can't put another... So I guess we can't just... We need supports. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, we can. <gasps> Ow. So if all else fails, you could do that. And all you'd have to do is just survive the night. Nope, get up. Oh. It's kind of fiddly. Let's do this. Um, we don't actually have to... Do crazy rust gymnastics. We can just do like this. Step, step. Hip. Right on. Or we can just like chill out here all night. <laughs> right? That's a nice little cheesy thing to do, I suppose. But you could. Because yeah, like I said, this is things should be indestructible. You can't hurt it. Nice. No, it takes that. And if you're worried about things getting to you, you can't, because they're not going to run. They're not going to make this jump. Um, the only thing that you got to worry about is this little hole, which I suppose... Let's try and... That'll help, right? So if you accidentally fall, right here, right here. Oh, this thing's this thing's not there. Nice. So we glitched our way into this a little bit, but we could build around it. So that's not really a glitch, is it? Nice. So yeah, let's actually let's end there. Let's do let's do a nice little screenshot here. Let's have our last meal and screeny.
one more screeny. Cool. <laughs> that was fun. That was pretty fun. I like I like doing all that building. Um, and I, I like cheating this. So you could cheat this if you want, but yeah, it's a lot more fun to actually do the real building. But if you're running low on everything and you're just desperate, this will work for you. You just have to kind of wait everything out until 7 in the morning. But um, yeah, hope you all enjoyed and I'll we'll try and do some exploration tomorrow if you come in to the stream or if you watch the VOD. Um, yeah. So be sure to subscribe and follow and comment and like and all that cool stuff. And I'll catch you all later. Cool. Peace.